The first thing we're doing is editing this photo of me. So, essentially, well, I can't really see what I'm doing right now because of the editing software I'm using. So, I'm just trying to make the thumbnail right now. Um, and I'm kind of messing around with the sizes of everything. And then I will edit the picture so that it's like a full circle, like picture before I do anything, like right in the morning before school, then um, picture after it's gone through the editing process and everything. And because I'm doing it all so fast, it's not going to be like awesome or anything. But yeah, right now I'm getting the before photo so that I can like line it up and whatever. There were some technical difficulties with the fact that for YouTube thumbnails you have to put it in YouTube format. Um, so that was a little annoying, but right now I'm just messing around with the blur on the background. And I'm going to edit the picture now. I think I'm putting on filters. Just trying to see which one looks the most dramatic because that's the look I was going for. Um, then I will retouch up the face. Well, right now I'm playing around with the filters and stuff. But after that, I will touch up the face and just, um, I think it does it auto for you. I don't usually accept what it does because it always wants to make me look so tan and it's just fakery. Um, so, yes, now I'm doing the face. And I'm just like slowing the face down or changing like the filters on it so that it appears thinner and I mean not thinner, tanner and lighter. Stuff like that. Also sorry I just got up so this uh, voice recording is not going to be great. And for some reason in all of my pictures it's all like I can't see a face but the face it's right there. It's right there. Um, and then for some reason it messed up my whole layout, so I'm just trying to figure out why it did that, and I'm gonna put it back in a second. There we go. Um, and then, well, maybe. Once it's done, I just click save, then it'll automatically save to my photos, and I will go to the studio app to upload it there. The next step is editing. This is my photography folder, and um, for some reason, the Facetune app thing got offloaded to the cloud, so I went back into Pic Collage, and that's just, you can see from the last video, the clip, I guess, it's the same video. Um, now I'm just selecting a photo that I want to edit, um, and... Once I finally do that, I'm going to switch the layout of everything because originally I had it in the layout for a thumbnail. Now I'm just kind of messing around like, do I want the background to show, etc, etc. And I'm going to do that for a couple of minutes because I wasn't really happy with the placement of my picture. <laughs> Okay, now I'm just deleting the watermark because it gives you the opportunity to do that. Um, and I'm about to crop my photo just to get rid of the extra stuff in the background. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear a lawnmower, that's my neighbor. Um, now, I want to get as much of the picture in there as possible, but later I discovered that you can just um, click autofill and it'll <laughs> automatically fill it for you so that you're not cutting off any picture and there is no white space. So, I, it was early in the morning. Okay, I just, I couldn't. Right now, I decided to make the background me, but I couldn't figure out how to delete the actual picture on there, so that didn't work, because normally if you just make it the background, then it's already automatically fit. Um, here's me trying to do that again, but then I just ended up starting over. <laughs> so, again, I am taking it off of the YouTube layout and I'm deciding what I should do now because I don't really know how to get the photo in there without the white space and I deleted the watermark again 
Now I'm playing around with filters. I've just given up on the background. I'll fix that later. Um, I'm going through all of the filters this time because in the thumbnail you only got to see like three of them. Um, the effect I'm going for is like 1900s like almost Marilyn Monroe inspired but also not really at all. Um, and I kind of want it to be like suspicious and dark or whatever. I don't really understand how to explain you what I explain you explain to you what I want, but it'll get there and I'll be happy with it. And that's all that really matters. Um so I'm still I'm either face editing right now or I'm still playing around with the Okay, so I just compared it so that you could see what it actually did. I think I've picked a filter and now I'm about to face edit. There we go. Um, so it auto did it for me and that's comparing what it did and how the picture used to be. Um, then I think, I can't really see, that's why I keep saying I think because the big recording thing is in the way. Um, oh, great. So now I'm working on effects. Effect. I cannot say that, but I decided that I hated it, so I stopped. Um, now, I'm pretty sure that I'm done because I'm happy with how it looks, kinda. <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna screenshot it and then crop the photo because saving it will include the background and I didn't want the background. So, this is me cropping the photo so that there's no white space. And then in a second, you'll see the edited photo. Boom. Um, that's what I ended up doing. I just face tuned a little bit. Um, and here are all of the pictures before editing. Um, if I hate this part of the video, I will do the pictures one by one on this. Um, but yeah, these are just all the different poses I tried, the different hairstyles, the different, all sorts of different stuff. In the middle of it, I switched locations because I just hated how bright it was. Um, and I think I got better pictures that I liked more when I was like on the floor in this little corner beside my sister's closet. Um, yeah. A lot of these pictures have like a little blue light in it because I couldn't like stand up and... <laughs> my phone every time because then I'd lose the pose so it was really just um, a little clicker but it has a blue light so I'm going to edit all of that out and right now you should be seeing the edited photos for the end of the video I'm gonna stop talking now and just play some music so enjoy like if you want to comment if you want to and subscribe if you want totally different content because I may never do this again.